Hello and welcome to another episode in our series on getting started with the PHP Kai library for the Google Ads API. I am Tanit Brian Ararat, a developer relations engineer, working on the Google Ads API and the lead maintainer of the PHP Kai library. In this episode, I will show you how to clone the Google Ads API PHP Kai library and install all the dependencies using Composer to make it ready to run a code example. I will be using Max Terminal application to show all the required steps. As a prerequisite, I assume that Git and Composer are already installed on your system. If you haven't installed them yet, please download and install them first before watching this video. I have provided the necessary links in the video description. But in case you are ready, let's get started. First, we are going to clone the PHP Cloud Library. To do that, type git clone followed by the PHP client library's git URL. Once you run that command, you will see a new directory, Google Ask PHP, shown up in your current directory. Change into that one. As you can see, this contains several subdirectories such as source, tastes, and examples. After completing the steps in this video, I will demonstrate in the next video how to run ad campaigns found in this examples directory. But now, let's shift our focus back to preparing the library for running code examples. The next thing we need is to install the library's dependencies using Composer. At the command prompt, run, Composer install, double dash, ignore platform requirements. This parameter is used to bypass platform extension requirements, such as gRPC and protobuf for now. However, for optimal performance in the long run, I suggest using gRPC and the platform version of protobuf. The video description below provides guides for installing gRPC and protobuf. Please check them out later. After the command finishes, you can see all the dependencies installed in the vendor directory. Now we are ready to configure our credentials. We can configure credentials in so many ways including using a credentials file, programmatically setting them in your code, and utilizing the environment variables. I will show you how to configure credentials using the credentials file first. The easiest way to do this is to download the example credentials file, Google as php.ini from our GitHub repository. Store it in the home directory of your machine. Inside the file, we can put all the credentials needed for the Google Ads API, like the developer token, the OAuth client ID and the client secret, and the refresh token. Note that you can store a refresh token in the credentials file if you plan on authenticating the Google Ads API with only a single Google account, like when you are developing on your machine. In case you are using the OAuth service account floor, you can configure the path to the secret JSON file and the email address of the user you want your application to impersonate. I have them commented out here because I'm not using the OAuth service account floor in this example. Finally, the last configuration property I would like to highlight is the login customer ID, which defines the Google Ads Manager account that you want to use to manage the customer accounts from your application. For other properties not mentioned here, please check them out later. The example file includes self-explanatory comments above all the properties. And what about the cases when you don't have access to the home directory like in the cloud environment? No worries, you can still configure your credentials by using environment variables. As you can see here, the PHP client library for the Google Ads API allows you to use environment variables to configure the credentials similarly to when you use the credentials file, like developer token, the OAuth client ID and client secret, the refresh token, or even the path to the secret JSON file and email address for service accounts. And of course, the login customer ID. Unlike the credentials file, using environment variables, you can use several refresh tokens, which represent various Google accounts. And that's it. We are ready to run our first code example 
add campaigns. I will show you how to run the code example and how to set the credentials programmatically in the next video. See you there!